These are the three stoic rules that will allow you to detach emotionally from attractive women. Have you ever felt a burden of attachment? And it seems so hard to break that cycle of emotional attachment. It is impossible to you. You feel overwhelmed and you don't want to spend any time with this lady. You do not want to be near them. But at the same time, you can't just break the cycle. The conversation with her, the meetups, when she calls, you will find yourself picking her call. But you know it's toxic, it's overwhelming, and you can't deal with it forever. This is the cycle that seems so impossible to get rid of or to break when you are attached to attractive women. Understand that detachment is more of reclaiming your power. Every time you meet with an attractive lady and then you behave in a certain way after pursuing her, it's her work to identify your unmet needs. She can only do that by also opening up and being too friendly to you. She can weigh, does he has a girlfriend? Does he has a wife? Is he dating? Is he single? Is he lonely? And she will understand and pick the unmet need from you depending on how you will have a conversation with this lady. Like I'm having a conversation with Isaac, right? If he is consistently pursuing me and in the front end game, he's also trying to tell me that I need this to be a serious relationship. He doesn't rush, but he doesn't also give up on me. To me, he is perceiving me as a potential partner. And now his unmet need is a potential partner. For me to have power over Isaac, I have to present myself in the manner of I am actually a potential partner so that giving you your need allows you to attach yourself emotionally to me. And when you are attached to me already, because I showed you that I also want this to work, even when I become toxic, Later on, it will be hard for you to detach from me. And you are breaking one of the stoic rules that you should always apply when you are attracted to attractive women. I know that he has a relationship, he is dating, or he has a wife, but he's just not sexually satisfied. I have to present myself also in a frame of I also want the same thing so that in the near future even when I behave differently weirdly it will be hard for Isaac to break this cycle of attachment and I never called you because I never just wanted to call you so not calling you allows you to think that I am busy because she's the one who has the remote so she decides which channel you do watch she decides to give you fear of rejection excitement resentment to give you you are not good enough for me she just needs to cause isaac be obsessed with her and being too clingy to her it confirms that you really need her when you really need her then she has power over you so she has to hold back the sex so that she can give you an anticipation of wanting it more chasing after her over pursuing her it's just the thrill of the chase that she is causing in your state of being the illusion of control have you ever felt like everything is not working out with this lady that you are attracted to but you believe that if you just try hard to maybe connect everything and stretch your help, try hard to do things differently, maybe the outcome will be different. She's the one who is giving you that illusion that if you try a little bit hard, the outcome will be different. How? You decide to take me on a date, right? The restaurant was good. The vibe was exciting and i even enjoyed the moment but i won't admit that the food was great rather i will complain that the food was bad 
So complaining in that manner allows you Isaac set aside another debt for me. You expected the outcome to be different. You expected her to appreciate it, to feel happy. But she's giving you an illusion that if the next time you take me to a different hotel, the outcome will be different and I will appreciate it. It's all about me having a date. You have no control of the outcome and you need to loosen the grip so that you can't be emotionally attached to this lady. Every time you want a different outcome, then you are emotionally attached to her and she knows it. But you have no control of the outcome in that relationship, in a certain situation that she creates, you create, or the relationship itself creates. This is a scenario whereby holding on to something so bad that it really hurts but at the same time, you feel afraid releasing it. I have the fear of the unknown. I'm just going to hold on this rope. You can't loosen your grip, holding on it so tightly that your hands are even aching. Why? You fear you do not know where you will land when you fall. When you are emotionally attached to this lady, it hurts so bad that you still just need to talk to her, still entertain her. You still need her to be around. You rather hurt than choose the fear of the unknown. This lady is controlling you and she has power over you. Do you know that you need to be lonely to identify and find your true self? She knows eventually it will never work. But you really need to be around her so that she can get everything she wants from you. Most of you guys clung so much on a comfortable relationship because it provides safety for you. You are blocking doors for more better opportunities. Even when she is toxic, I feel comfortable in this era with her. It doesn't matter if you are in love and she's not. You just believe that she's the right lady for you. She knows that I have to treat Isaac in this manner. I have to control him in this manner so that he can feel safe and comfortable for him to forever stay with me. And she's only behaving that way because she knows you are emotionally attached to her. Every time you have a certain feeling, you will never see it as a wrong feeling and you will consistently blame yourself or even blame her but you won't end that relationship with her have you really watched up to this point if you have then kindly comment down below by saying i am with you until next time be safe take care and let's have peace